special counsel on paper is the right move. And it would have been back in November. But the problem is we've seen the corrupt government gangsters go out there and cover up the corrupt activities, namely the likes of Rod Rosenstein, Chris Ray and Merrick Garland. So when these guys are responsible, remember, Rod Rosenstein appointed Mueller, Comey's best friend, to be special counsel. And now you have a situation where Merrick Garland appoints her special counsel, H.U.R. Do you know who her is? Rod Rosenstein's number one lawyer when Rod Rosenstein was the attorney general in charge of the Russiagate investigation where Devin Nunes and I sent him a dozen subpoenas and Rosenstein and her blockaded the response to those subpoenas because they wanted to cover up the corruption at the FBI and DOJ. They were in on it then and they're in on it now, which is why I disagree with the appointment of this guy as special counsel. And here's the most important thing I'm going to say tonight. This guy, her, needs to be the first one subpoenaed by the new special select committee under Jim Jordan's authority on the weaponization of government. And do you want to know why? Because her, we have the receipts, Steve, and we're going to release them later, was sending communications to the Justice Department and Rod Rosenstein's crew arguing against the release of the Nunes memo, saying that it would bastardize and destroy the United States national security apparatus. This guy is a swamp monster of the tier one level. He's a government gangster. He's now in charge of the continued crime scene cover up, which is why the first congressional subpoena that has to go out for the weaponization of government subcommittee is against her. He's been in on it this since day one. And let's not forget Rod Rosenstein and he, her, are the two top lawyers at DOJ that subpoenaed my records in 2017 when I was the chief investigator for Devin Nunes on the House Intel Committee in Russiagate. We only just found that out and broke that news on your show just a couple of weeks ago. This guy, her, authorized that subpoena and advised Rod Rosenstein to do so. What other people were they trying to get blackmail information on illegally and unlawfully so they could continue the cover-up operation? Went to the United States Congress in 2018 with his sidekick, her by his side, and lied to Congress under (laughs) oath about threatening and investigating congressional staffers. They had already sent the subpoenas and he lied and he said he never threatened anyone. What he did mean to say, what he should have said was, I actually have been investigating these guys because they're digging up our dirt. And look, the special counsel, as a former federal prosecutor, I think it's a cherished apparatus that has been destroyed by this appointment and the continued appointments. And now we've seen Mueller, uh, Lausch, excuse me, and this other guy that's just been appointed, her and Jack Smith, the special counsels have become the special forces operators to cover up the swamp corruption for the Justice Department and the FBI. And the only place that that can be pierced is congressional subpoenas from this co- subcommittee that Jim Jordan's running. And I'm calling for him to send this guy and Rod Rosenstein a subpoena and get all the documents. And then I can't wait for them to lie on public in the TVs and I show you the receipt about Rob Her and his clan at DOJ uh, sending emails arguing against the release of the Nunes memo because it was exposed their corruption. We went to Rosenstein and her and Chris Ray, we being me and Devin and said, look, you guys weren't there in the Biden administration. Help us expose the corruption at the FBI and DOJ. And you guys can be the law enforcement heroes. We don't need to be. And instead of doing that, they doubled down and said no and flipped us the finger and said, you guys are crazy. You and Devin Nunes and Jim Jordan, and everyone else in Congress. There's no way the FBI lied to the DOJ's FISA court And there's no way Rod Rosenstein signed that application with special counsel Hearst standing next to him as his payday. Well, all of that happened and they knew it. And these guys are responsible for a cover up that's been going on for as long as Joe Biden's classified documents have been in the wild. Seven years and running. I wouldn't be surprised if these guys and their lawyers, as you talked about in the beginning of the show, were the lawyers who went and found these so-called classified documents at these certain locations. And as you and I, Steve, we called it, there's going to be many more locations. And so Republicans can't go around spiking the football. We have to carry this thing the next hundred yards for the next year and make sure we get every document from these corrupt actors. And the one thing that this new subcommittee can do and Kevin McCarthy, take the money from this special counsel, her and fence it. So he no longer has the authority to execute his command issued by government gangster number one, Merrick Garland and government gangster number two, Chris Ray who is going to handpick the investigators like he did for the uh, cases revolving uh, Donald Trump 